Hi, welcome back to Family Summer Camp, at home edition. Day three of Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that week. Today, we're gonna investigate sound and pitch. And together as a family, you're going to have the opportunity to make your own instruments and explore why some things sound high and some things sound low in our four Gongolia centers. The Cat's Reading Corner, Thing One's Flute Toot and Gong Center, Thing Two's Strum Alum and Drum Alum Center, and Sally and Nick's Digital Reading Corner. So join me for our first Gongolia Center, Cat's Reading Corner. In our book, A Cat Named Oscar explores sounds he hears in the meadow. What kind of sounds do you think he'll hear? Come along with us as we explore Oscar and the Bat. Oscar the Bat, a book about sounds by Jeff Waring. One summer evening in the meadow, Oscar heard a new sound. He looked around to see who was making it. Cheep, 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 cheep. Bat swooped by. It's the baby blackbirds, he said. Their nest is over there in the bush. Oh, said Oscar. I can hear them even though I can't see them. Yes, said Bat. Our ears help us know what's around us even when our eyes can't. Then Oscar heard another sound. Scree twee. This time he could see who was making it. The blackbird's singing to warn other blackbirds to stay away from his nest, Bat said. Oscar thought it was the most beautiful sound he had ever heard. I wish I could sing like a blackbird, he said. Mew, squeak. Kittens can make other sounds, Bat said. So can bats. We make sounds in our throats, Bat went on, but some animals talk with different parts of their bodies. Chirp, chirp. Many male grasshoppers talk to family grass to Many male grasshoppers talk to female grasshoppers by rubbing their wings together. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Some cockroaches hiss to one another through holes on their sides. Whirr, whirr. When they nest, some male hummingbirds make a loud sound with their wings to warn other birds away. Click, whistle, squeak. Bottlenose dolphins send messages to one another underwater through their blowholes. Rattle, rattle. The tips of rattlesnake tails have con hard connecting ridges. If other animals come too close, the snakes lift their lift and shake their tails. Are all sounds talking sounds, Oscar asked? Lots are, Bat said, but almost everything makes a sound when it moves. Close your eyes and listen. What can you hear moving in the meadow? Swish, 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 swish. Brrrm, gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Grass makes no sound when it's still, but swishes when, it move, when the wind moves it. Machines are still and silent until they're switched on. Then their engines move and make noise. Still water in a pond is silent, but moving water makes sound. Oscar could hear another sound. It was in the sky. Rumble, rumble, rumble. What's that rumbling, he asked. Thunder, said Bat. There's a storm coming. Even though it's far away, we can still hear the thunder because it's such a big sound. Rumble, 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 rumble. Oscar opened his eyes. It's getting louder, he said. The thunder's coming this way, Bat said. The closer it is to us, the louder it sounds. Rumble, crash! And when a big noise is very near, it sounds very loud indeed. Bat shouted as Oscar leaped away. Safe under the leaves, Oscar listened to the raindrops falling. Pitter patter, pitter patter. The rain is very near too, he said, but it isn't scary. The rain is making a gentle sound, Bat sat, said, not a harsh sound like the thunder. When the rain stopped, Oscar put out his head to listen. Is the thunder going away now, he asked. Yes, said Bat. The farther it is from us, the quieter it sounds to us. Then it was gone. I can't hear anything, Oscar whispered. No, whispered Bat. This is silence, or it would be if we weren't whispering. But just then, moo! The cow sounds a bit like thunder, said Oscar. Yes, said Bat. Cows make a deep sound. It's low and rumbly. It isn't high and squeaky like the sound the baby birds made. Trip a trip, trip a trip. Now the blackbird started to sing again. That's still my favorite sound, said Oscar. It keeps changing, and it's never too loud and scary or too high and squeaky. It's just right, like music. And he started to purr, chirp, 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 purr. And that's my favorite sound, said Oscar's mother, who had come to fetch him. But Oscar and Bat were listening so hard, they didn't notice. Another way you can explore pitch 
is by having silly conversations using your voice really high or really low. Enjoy some time as a family playing with pitch. Did you know sound is what we hear when something vibrates? Go ahead, place your fingers on your throat and talk or sing and you can feel the vibrations. As you're exploring pitch and sound as a family, take a few minutes and however much time you want really and explore how different sounds and different vibrations make a different pitch. Once you are done exploring sound and pitch together, come back for part two. Bye.